So welcome to my first thoughts on Luigi's Mansion 3 for the Nintendo Switch. And it is that time of year, it is Halloween. And I'm gonna say something right here. This is a no spoilers talk about Luigi's Mansion. I'm nearly at the end of the game. I'm doing a full review next week. But today I just want to give some early impressions of the game. But I will say this much. I believe this is the best Halloween game ever made in the history of the planet Earth. It is really that good. Now today I won't be giving any scores or anything like that. As I say, just very early impressions. And what a year it has been for video games in general. When you think about it, we started off the year with Ace Combat 7, Resident Evil 2, the remake, Bloodstained, Devil May Cry, the list goes on and on. And then from Nintendo, the first party games have been absolutely incredible. Honestly, I can't believe it. Last year was a bit of a soft year for Nintendo. This year, they are coming out swinging. You know, we had Three Houses, which was really good. And by Platinum Games, we had Astral Chain. And then we had Link's Awakening. What a nutty year. It's unbelievable for video gamers. I, I mean, everybody should be happy. And let me say, everybody should be very, very happy about Luigi's Mansion 3. I'm near at the end of the game, as I say, and it is something very, very special. It really is. And I'm just going to go back in time for a brief moment and say that I, I am a big Luigi's Mansion fan. I remember when the very first game came out, and I've mentioned it before, a lot of people on forums back then, when this was released in 2001, were going, why are we getting this Luigi game? We just want a Mario game. Why? Luigi in a mansion? That's so gimmicky. That's not really cool. People thought it was a bad idea. Isn't that so funny to think about where it's come from since then to now? This was the beginning of a classic franchise and some people at that time didn't realize it. Now, I got it from the Nintendo GameCube the day it came out and I thought it was very special and it was over way too soon and I, I just wanted a lot more out of the game because I enjoyed it so much and I, I just liked the idea of Luigi in this mansion going around sucking up ghosts uh, via Ghostbusters style and it was really kind of cool and the graphics at that time were unbelievable. Now, next up was Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon that came out a few years ago for the Nintendo 3DS. Now, what this game did, it improved on every single thing that Luigi's Mansion had done. More secrets, more areas, more ways to interact, more different characters. I think the game is really good. It was very difficult. It was a very difficult game, but I thought they were going in the right direction. And I I honestly thought this was the end of Luigi's Mansion. I thought, that's it. They, they've gone to the 3DS. They're not bringing it to a console. I, I think it's over. We're not going to get a console version again until they did the announcement a few years back at E3. And I was like, oh my God, this is incredible. To be honest with you, at first, I didn't even think it was a new Luigi's Mansion. I just thought, is it a port of Luigi's Mansion? Is that, I thought it was something like that. I didn't realize it until the three came up and I'm like, oh my God, we get a brand new Luigi's Mansion game. This is gonna be incredible. But does the game live up to our expectations? Graphic wise, gameplay wise, performance wise. Let me just say, and I'm using a pun here, this game blew me away no pun intended, 100%. Let's start off with the graphics here. And I really mean this, and I really mean this, and I've said it with a couple of Nintendo Switch games, a couple of them, like Astral Chain for sure. I cannot believe this is a Nintendo Switch game, and I'm not knocking the hardware. This game looks super next-gen. I mean, when Luigi goes into a brand new area, every area is very different, very diverse, and you're like, Oh my God, they've beaten the last area. The last area was incredible graphics wise. And this area is amazing graphics wise. It honestly takes your breath away. And I know you can't say that about every single Nintendo Switch game, but you can say that about this game. And you got good graphics, but how is the interaction with the environments? 
That's what sets this game apart. It is not just beautiful graphics. It's not just like, oh wow, it's a really nice world to run around in, which it is. But the environments, when you interact with them, with the, the monsters and the objects coming together, it is unreal. In the sense that the game is constantly, constantly rewarding you. So you're always gaining rewards and treasure and a few spooks and scares along the way. The attention to detail on every single level is extraordinary. And this is a kind of game where you'll just put the controller down and you'll look at it and you'll say, this is a work of art. It is a work of art by fantastic artists that sat there and spent a lot of time just getting the look right. Never mind all the interactive environments. So right there, the game is elevated super high. But good graphics without good control doesn't mean anything. And thankfully, we have some phenomenal controls in here. We have all the controls from the past games. So you have your poltergust to blast enemies, uh, shoot air at them, suck them into your poltergust. There's an auto run function, which I think is so cool. So you're just kind of jotting about and then all of a sudden you push ahead a little bit more and you just go into a little bit of a run. And so that gets you through some areas a little bit faster. Now when you come across some enemies, you shock them with your light and that kind of stuns them for a moment and then you suck them into your backpack, but not before a lengthy fight. And this is where I really like Luigi's Mansion. I feel the controls are so good for capturing ghosts. Obviously, you're kind of pushing the opposite direction of the ghost to get him into your backpack, but all of a sudden, you'll hit the A button and start slamming them into the ground, and that feels so good, but you can also slam them into other ghosts and take their health off as well, and sometimes you'll come into an entire room full of ghosts and you're like, Oh my god, this is gonna take me forever. And you just start grabbing the ghosts and slamming them into each other. And it feels very fulfilling, and you always feel very in control. Where I remember in the very first Luigi's Mansion game, some of the capturing ghost mechanics could be a little bit frustrating. You could get, you know, better at it, but this game feels more refined. You have your black light for showing different areas that may be hidden and different characters that may be hidden. And that's the one thing that I really want to say about this game is it gives you a set of controls and a way to interact with the world but in every single level in every single room you'll be doing these things in such different orders never mind getting into Guiji who is another character to control and I'll, I'll be honest I was not looking forward to this I thought oh no we're gonna switch our characters out and switch back and forth and I usually in video games can't stand that. That's the one thing I, I usually hate, you know, bringing the character over here to unlock this, to unlock this. But Nintendo has done it really, really well here. And that's a testament to the level design. So it's never frustrating. You never feel like, oh my God, I'm getting so bored switching the characters out back and forth. It feels like an extension of Luigi. It just feels like you're using him and then you can use uh, combo attacks together. And I'm not gonna ruin and all of the things that you can do together because that's part of the exploration and figuring out what to do next. But it's so fun to get Koichi and be going down sewer pipes with him into different levels while you're on the same level. That's one thing I do like. The one thing that can be a little frustrating at times is when you're both on the screen at the same time and one of you leaves and the the camera will kind of shift a little bit and it becomes a little harder to see what you can always do is leave the room and come back in if that ever frustrates you but that's a small gripe but i can't say enough that using guiji is a pleasure not a hindrance <laughs> Another thing I really want to mention is the gyro controls. And I, I've often said that I'm not a huge fan of gyro controls in video games. I know a lot of you out there absolutely love them. I will say this much about this game. They've made me a believer in gyro controls. I really enjoy gyro controls in this particular game. So when you have Luigi blasting some air at the top or sucking in ghosts, 
lifting up your controller lifts Luigi up and that's really handy and very needed for this game and I only realized uh, a bit about it later on because I'm only always holding the controller so sturdy but all of a sudden lifting up and down the controller really works well so big thumbs up for the gyro controls now the story is something I am not saying here I'm not talking about at all obviously Luigi and some friends go to a mansion and have to traverse around the mansion the only thing I will say is to progress through the haunted mansion you need different elevator keys and you get those in different levels defeating different bosses and completing different tasks but I do love the name of the resort. It's called The Last Resort. How is the music? How is the voice? I'll say this much. I was laughing to myself as I was playing it on the couch, hearing Charles Martinet. And because I had Charles Martinet sitting next to me drinking wine, uh, you know, a bunch of years back doing uh, Luigi voices for me. And all of a sudden, there he is in the game. And I just kept looking over my shoulder to make sure Charles wasn't there. Uh, he delivers a lot of brand new voices for Luigi all the way through this game. And he's really good at it. I, I absolutely love his portrayal of Luigi. It's so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And the music. Let's talk about the music for a second. What I like is I obviously like the original Luigi's Mansion music quite a bit and I love their take on this. It's not the exact same theme at times. Sometimes you go into a bathroom, you flick a radio on and get a western version of the classic Luigi's Mansion theme and I think it's really a lot of fun to hear. <laughs> And sometimes very subtle use of music and piano keys. So let's press one key at a time and creates for this kind of spooky atmosphere as you're going around exploring this mansion. The multiplayer is very, very interesting. There's a couple of different multiplayer options. The one I spent a lot of time in is the Scream Park. Now, the cool thing here is, get this, you can have up to eight people playing in front of the TV. If you have enough Joy-Cons, and you can just take off the Joy-Cons and Pro Controllers for everybody, and have up to eight people. That's that's the trick, getting the eight people there. But if you do, some of these games are so entertaining. So you're all competing against each other in various missions. Some of the missions are, you need to capture more ghosts than the other players. And I was only doing it in two players, and it was really a lot of fun. And sometimes very frustrating, and you're like slamming your fist down going, man, I really want to beat everybody at this. So I could sit here and talk about Luigi's Mansion for at least two hours. I could really do that because I was really looking forward to this game and it's really lived up and then some to expectations. So if you're excited about this game, there is a reason to be. And I gotta say that yes, Luigi's Mansion is a bit of a slower paced game. It's not that slow, but some people have said in the past that they thought it was a very slower game. I love it. I love exploring these mansions. I think they're so fun and imaginative and well designed. I mean, this game is so well designed. You have to experience it because I don't want to ruin it for you. There's some puzzles that I was doing that I was like, I wonder if I do this and that link to this one, to this thing, to this, and that's all I'll say. And I was blown away by the level of design and puzzle solving. And I, I've often said as well, I'm not a huge puzzle fan. I don't really like solving puzzles in games. They usually frustrate me and annoy me. Where this has the Nintendo touch. And you know what that means. Sometimes Nintendo games just have that little bit of magic where I'll say Luigi's Mansion has a lot of magic in it. And it's going to be one of those games where every year people around the world will come back to over the years and play it every single Halloween or heck, anytime the game is that good. I know there's been a lot of expectations. A lot of you out there are saying, is this game going to live up to them? Absolutely. I want to review it. I want to review the score. I want to tell you where I'm at with it because it's high. I'll say that much and it definitely deserves it. So anyways, guys, happy Halloween for sure. Until next time.